Clownfish, written by Beth Costanzo. Watch our amazing clownfish video. Try your expertise with our amazing clownfish quiz. In our exploration of some of our ocean's most fascinating creatures, we have finally arrived on one of the coolest looking fish. In fact, if you have seen the movie Finding Nemo, you will know what I'm talking about. The clownfish. The clownfish is a beautiful fish. Depending on the particular species, you can find clownfish in colors like yellow, orange, or a blackish or reddish color. Along with these distinctive colors, clownfish show many white patches or bars. This orange color and white bar, for instance, is what Nemo and Marlin look like in Finding Nemo. Their distinctive colors make clownfish some of the most recognizable and stunning fish in our waters. Clownfish, compared to other fish in our oceans, are pretty small. The largest clownfish can reach about 6.7 inches, while the smallest is about 2.8 to 3.1 inches long. Overall, clownfish need to be careful when swimming because larger predators can eat them. There are many different species of clownfish. In fact, there are 30 of them. These 30 species of clownfish live in several different habitats. Most notably, they are found in the warmer waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. If you are on vacation in Japan, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, or Australia, you may be able to spot a clownfish in the wild. Having said this, clownfish often live at the bottom of shallow seas, meaning that you may need to snorkel or scuba dive to see them. These fish live in sheltered reefs or shallow lagoons and near things called sea anemones. These sea anemones, among other things, can help protect clownfish from predators. Clownfish are omnivores. This means they eat both fish and plants. Some of their favorite foods include small zooplankton along with algae. Along with this food, clownfish may also eat on some of the undigested food found on anemones. As far as predators, clownfish may be eaten by larger fish, sharks, and eels. But putting aside those fish, one of the greatest threats to clownfish is humans. Humans don't eat clownfish, but rather catch them and put them in tanks or aquariums. Because of this, Clownfish have a very unique relationship with sea anemones. The sea anemone helps protect the clownfish from predators and provides scraps of food that the clownfish can enjoy. It can also serve as a nest site for the clownfish. As for the clownfish, it gives back to the sea anemone in a number of ways. First, the clownfish can defend the sea anemone from different types of predators and parasites. The clownfish's frequent swimming around the sea anemone can create greater water circulation. The nitrogen that leaves the clownfish's body can even increase the number of algae in the sea anemone, which can help the anemone in tissue growth and tissue regeneration. As you can see, the clownfish and sea anemone need each other. They provide lots of help to each other and can make each other safer and healthier. So if you see a clownfish in the wild, don't be surprised if you see a sea anemone nearby.